Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. So today I'm going to show you how to work out the volume of a frustum. So a frustum is a cone with the top of the cone sliced off. So this is quite tricky to work out. Uh, the best way to do it is really to draw out the cone which has been sliced off at the top and then the larger cone. So let me do that. So here's the small cone. So the small cone would have a radius of 5. And we don't know the height of the uh, small cone. So let's just call that X. And then a larger cone has a radius of 20. And... The height of it would be x plus 4. So because it's just that extra 4 onto that x there. Okay, so we now need to try and figure out our heights of the two cones. So you can do this using similar shapes because this cone here is an enlargement of that cone. If you divide the radiuses, that will give you the scale factor of the enlargement. So the scale factor will be 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So the big cone is 4 times larger than the smaller cone. So if we divide the heights of the small and large cone together, that will also give us 4. So we go x plus 4 over x. So that will equal 4. So we just need to solve this equation. So if we times both sides by x, that will give us x plus 4 equals 4x. And then it's just a, an equation with x's on both sides. So if we take x off both sides, that will give us 4 equals 3x. So divide by 3 and we get x equals 4 thirds so this would mean then our height of our small cone would be 4 thirds and our height of our second cone will be 4 thirds plus 4 which is the same as 5 and a third Okay, so that's our heights of our small and large cone then. So the next bit then is to work out the volume of both cones. So let's start off with the small cone first of all. So to work out the volume of a cone, you do a third times pi times r squared times the height. So our radius of our small cone is 5. And a height is four thirds, so it'd be four a third times pi times five squared times the height. So I just type that in on the calculator. So that gives a hundred over nine pi. So we just need to now work out the volume of the large cone. So this time it would be a third times pi times 20 squared times 5 and a third. 5 and a third is the same as 16 thirds. So if we just type that in on the calculator, so it would be 1 third times pi times 20 squared times 16 over 3 so we get 6400 over 9 pi so if we subtract the small cone away from the large cone that will give us the volume of the frustum so it'll be 6400 over 9 pi minus 100 
over 9 pi. So we could just take 100 off uh, the 6,400. So that's 6,300 over 9 pi. Um, if you want it as a decimal, uh, just type that in on your calculator. So it's uh, 2,199.1 centimetre cubes. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.